हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल थैंक यू इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एग्जांपल 5.3 फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर 5 अप्लाइड थर्मोडायनेमिक्स बाय टीवी स्टॉप इन विकांकी दिस इज द बुक The statement of the example 5.3 is in a gas turbine unit air is drawn at 1.02 bar and 15 degrees centigrade and is compressed to 6.12 bar calculate the thermal efficiency and the work ratio of the ideal constant pressure cycle when the maximum cycle temperature is limited to 800 degrees centigrade so we have given some information i'm going to write those information over here i will call it the given data first of all inlet condition to the compressor i'm going to highlight the compressor this is the schematic of closed turbine setup our gas turbine unit this is the inlet condition state 1 and this is the exit of the compressor that is state 2 this is the heater where heat is supplied and state 3 is the exit of the heater our entrance to the turbine 4 is the exit of the turbine are in lead to the heat exchanger or cooler where heat is rejected so we have given the inlet condition to the compressor that is p1 is 1.02 bar and temperature t1 is 15 degrees centigrade so converting to kelvin we will add 273 with this figure 15 plus 273 so we will get 882288 kelvin also the exit pressure after compression is 6.12 bar that is p2 is equal to 6.12 bar also the high temperature in the cycle that is t3 and it is equal to 800 degree centigrade we are required to find two things first thermal efficiency and second we have to find the work ratio so in these types of problems we are interested to first extract the given data then to write the required quantities which will be calculated in the third step it is tried to draw the schematic of the physical system or the layout of the system and also to roughly mention the operating cycle for that setup so according to this statement we can say that there are four components within the physical layout of the gas turbine unit that is compressor heater turbine and cooler and the operating cycle for this setup is on ts diagram it will look like this from 1 to 2 shows the isentropic compression 2 to 3 shows 
heat addition at constant pressure. 3 to 4 is the isentropic expansion and 4 to 1 is the constant pressure heat rejection. In this case, if we highlight over here P2 is same to P3. So, P2 is equal to P3. Similarly, P1 is equal to P4 and this is the ideal constant pressure cycle on TS diagram. Similarly, this cycle is indicated on PV diagram like this. From 1 to 2, this is the isentropic compression. 2 to 3 is constant pressure heat addition. 3 to 4 is the expansion. That is the isentropic expansion. PV power gamma is equal to constant. This shows that the compression is isentropic and 4 to 1 is the heat rejection at constant pressure. And specifically if we mention the values for this specific problem on TS diagram, so it will be written like this. First is given in the data T1 is 15 degrees centigrade so 15 plus 273 will be equal to 288 kilo also the highest temperature is given that is T3 and it is at 100 degrees C so converting to uh, kilo it will be uh, we will add 273 so it becomes 1073 so also the pressure here is at point P1 and 4, P4. This is the pressure P1 and P4. This is same, it has same value 1.02 bar. Similarly, the pressure at state 2 and state 3, P2 and P3 are same and it has value 6.12 bar. Now in this problem uh, we are required to find the thermal efficiency and work ratio of this ideal constant pressure cycle. So we know that uh, from the text in chapter 5 this expression is developed for thermal efficiency for constant pressure cycle in ideal case. So thermal efficiency is equal to 1 minus 1 over pressure ratio power gamma minus 1 by gamma where gamma is the adiabatic index or the isentropic index. So and it has value 1.4 for air. So putting the values in this expression P1 is 1.02 and P2 is 6.12. So simplifying this we get 1 minus 0 0.599. So the thermal efficiency value comes out 0 0.401 or 40.1%. Now further to find the work ratio for this ideal constant pressure cycle. In this case, we have to calculate first the network output and the grass work output because to find the work ratio we need two quantities. First network output and second grass work output. So network output is given as CPT3 minus T4. This is the heat supplied basically or the network output which is T3 minus T4 work of expansion and subtracting the compressor work from this 
Cp T2 minus T1. So putting the values in this expression, this is the expansion work R turbine work Wt and this is the compressor work Wc. So when we subtract compressor work from turbine work, we get the network output. Cp value is given and it is 1.005 kilojoule per kilogram per kilogram for air. Also to find temperature T2 and T4. For that we use the expression between temperature ratio and pressure ratio for isentropic process. So T2 by T1 is equal to P2 by P1 power gamma minus 1 by gamma. Also it is further equal to T3 by T4 and it is equal to P2 is 6.12 and P1 is 1.02. So putting the values we get the ratio 1.669. So multiplying T1 with this we get T2 4 8 0.5. Also to find the value of T4 for that case again we will divide that factor which is 1.669 we will divide T3 by this factor so T3 is 1073 and when we divide this value with this factor we get 642.9 kilo. So now to find the network output putting these values temperature values T3 and this is T4 and this is T2 and this is T1. So when we put these values in this expression we get the network output which is 238.8 kilojoule per kilogram. Also the grass work output is equal to work output of the turbine and it is equal to Cp T3 minus T4. So in this case Cp is same 1.005 kilojoule per kilogram per kilogram. T3 is given which is 1073 kilogram and T4 is 642.9 kilogram. So when we put these values we get 432.3 kilojoule per kilogram. So the work ratio is the ratio of network output and grass work output. So putting the values which is 238.8 kilojoule per kilogram and grass work output is 432.3 kilojoule per kilogram. So the work ratio comes out 0.553. So in this example these two things were required thermal efficiency and work ratio which was discussed in this specific example 5.3. So thank you.